In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Etherscan, which is the Ethereum blockchain explorer. That's basically like the heart of where all the different transactions are taking place and that's where you can track things down. That's where you can see where the funds are leaving from, where the funds are going to and all the different tokens that you've got, right? So that's actually the main source of the truth. So even if you don't see something in your wallet, say on MetaMask, for example, then you do need to check Etherscan because then you'll know for sure if you actually own a specific token on the Ethereum blockchain, which is also known as an ERC20 token, but it can also be an ERC721 token, which is a non-fungible token, which is kind of like digital art or maybe a, a digital pet or a drawing or a song or anything else which is digitalized and we're going to be talking about non-fungible tokens in a separate video but the purpose of this video is mostly to kind of walk you through etherscan to help you get a better understanding and this is mostly focused for beginners because as a beginner you're a bit confused about the whole space right it's overwhelming there's just so much information to to take in right so that's why i really wanted to focus on this specific aspect so the first thing you do here is you go on coin gecko which is one of the websites where you can find all the different information regarding the market regarding the coins the tokens out there the exchanges that they're on the websites linked to these tokens and coins and so on so what do we do here so let's take as an example this token here which is called uniswap right uni so when you see the contract address here this is referring to the smart contract address on the ethereum blockchain so on the ethereum blockchain multiple tokens can be uh, deployed via smart contracts or digital contracts if you want to call them that way which can basically contain information such as transactions you can interact with a smart contract in order to perform these transactions and so on so let's copy the smart contract ad address from here and now the next thing that you need to do is you need to go to etherscan.io again the link will be found in the description of this video and then you go up at the very top of the page where you see search by address transaction hash block token etc so you paste this address in and then you search now the page is loading so you will see here that it says uniswap uni so this is how we know that this is the real deal now but we don't actually know what the total supply is for this token so what do you do how do you find that out right you need to actually go to the token itself you need to click on the token uh, which we have here under the tracker section as you can see we can even see who the creator of this token is and at which transaction it was created so everything is visible and transparent through the blockchain that's the beauty of it now there is no privacy with ethereum so everything is visible here all the different transactions where are they coming from where are they leaving and i'm going to be talking about that in a moment but as we can see here now that we've entered the uniswap token it now tells us is the uniswap token smart contract address up at the top left hand corner because we have the name and here is the contract right so this is the smart contract address uh, which was uh, created with and then it has the number of decimals and of course the official site now this information is useful because when you download a wallet a browser-based wallet like metamask you can actually add a token and i've done a dedicated tutorial on how to add an erc20 token using metamask you basically copy this address you copy the decimals as well you paste them into the metamask wallet and then once you do that then it basically adds the token for you so then in that case you would add the uniswap token let's say for example someone sends you uniswap if you have metamask you will not actually see it right you'll be thinking well i haven't received your uniswap are you sure you sent it to me well no if you had if you manually add in the token using the smart contract address and the decimals then you will actually see the balance so that will update in real time because your balance is actually on the blockchain it's just not added to your specific wallet for, for it to be visible and for you to be able to transact with uh, with the actual token so again this applies to any other token on the ethereum blockchain i'm only using uniswap as an example here now the next thing i want to talk about is all the different transfers that are taking place so here we can see all the different transfers with uniswap that have left from a specific wallet and went to this specific wallet right so this is how we can see it here and the quantity of the uniswap tokens and as you can see here this is getting updated quite a lot so there are a lot of transactions with uniswap on the ethereum blockchain as you can see and it even tells you where they're coming from like some of them have labels like binance this one has actually left from binance exchange and you went to this person's address right so again the an anonymity here is that nobody knows who this address belongs to but the fact that we can see here there is a movement it actually gets people curious because sometimes uh, you may be able to track whales this way and they are actually bots on twitter which are actually tracking whale movements 
they're doing this for Bitcoin and they're doing this for Ethereum too. So you can see when funds are leaving an exchange or when funds are going to an exchange. And if a lot of funds are going to an exchange, then normally people start to panic and you tend to see a dip in price, especially with with blockchains which are not so popular or which are popular but if you see like a large amount like say for example in the in the millions or tens of millions then people start to panic right and then they sell because they think that the person or the whale has actually uh, plans to sell on the exchange and then therefore dump the price now the next thing that I want to talk about here is the holders uh, tab, right? I'm not going to go through every single tab because we don't actually need to know all of these, but the holders tab is useful because here we can see which, which address is actually hold the maximum amount of uni. So here it's actually ranked, as you can see, they're ranked it really well. So that's why that's the beauty of Etherscan, that everything is well ranked. And again, if you have some kind of analytics tool, of course you can extract the information from Etherscan and make it more user friendly, you know, with flashy colors and so on. But for the purpose of of how you could actually use it as a, at a basic level, this this pretty much uh, answers your question. So here you can see that 12.9% is owned by this address, which holds 129 million. And again, if there's any movement from this address, then this would track the bots. Um, the, the, this would trigger the bots, which would then report that there's a whale movement happening from the rank one wallet going to an exchange, for example, right? So that's why we see those on Twitter. Now. How do we actually see a real person's wallet and the type of transactions that they may do? So let's take, for example, Dex Tools. Now, I love this website. It has an analytics feature here, which basically shows you all the different uh, pairs that are, um, that are being traded the most in the last 24 hours, I believe. And then based on that, you can actually get information, uh, say on, for example, all the transactions that are taking place. So uh, again, you can actually paste the smart contract address here too. In the search button and then it'll give you the different pairs that you can find like say for example uniswap with ethereum or uniswap with something else but let's say for example let's take a look at uh, paid network here so if you go to show live data we'll be able to see all the different trades here so we can see that paid network is currently trading at five dollars and 41 it's being pumped significantly it's on a little bit of a pullback here as you can see but what are we interested in it's actually the transactions here so here we can see all the different transactions right the date the time so what can you actually do here we can see who's made the transaction we can see the amount that they've made it with so if you actually go to the view transaction here it'll open etherscan for you you see this is the beauty of etherscan and it'll tell you that the transaction was successful and how much the person has actually paid as the transaction fee and again just to reiterate the ethereum transaction fees at the moment are absolutely insane so as you can see, they've actually purchased $686 worth of uh, paid worth of paid tokens. And, um, and this is the transaction fee that they paid. So for $686, they've paid $101 in transaction fees. So absolutely insane. Now, if we actually go to this, uh, to this address here, let's click on this. Okay. Okay. So this is the person's address, right? So the person, as you can see here, uh, has a balance of 0 0.09 ether. Then uh, they've got the, which is, which is valued at 179 bucks. And then they've got other tokens. Now these are the ERC20 tokens that I was telling you about. So as you can see that they've got a lot of tokens here, like Virox worth 63,000 bucks, uh, EVN token paid network worth 14,000 bucks, Rook and so on. So these are all the different tokens that this person has. And if you go to your C20 token transactions, now we can see all the different movements that the person has made, right? So again, this is uh, applicable to your wallet too, because you may be interested to do this for your wallet to check all the different transactions that you've done. Have you been, uh, have you been uh, making any profits? You know, you could track, you could do analytics, basic analysis on it, just to kind of track down what, uh, where you're at and, and to kind of get a, a summary of all the different transactions. So here we can see the date, like two minutes ago, they've traded this token and the in refers to the in input, right? That means that they've transferred the tokens from somewhere else, from an external address over to this address. And then out obviously means that it left his wallet to go to a different address. And in this case, it was Uniswap. So they sold 125 paid to send them to Uniswap, right? So this is an example here of a sell-off. Because again, you could see that it's a sell-off, right? It tells you it's a sale here. If you go to a buy, then it will show as a buy, right? So yeah, this is pretty much how it looks here. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is just like a basic concept of how Etherscan looks. 
Uh, I hope you found this video informative. There isn't anything else that you need to know really. I mean, other than this, uh, once you understand the basic concept of how Etherscan works, then you could apply the same concept on uh, other blockchain explorers because there are other blockchain explorers out there. So it's exactly the same concept. It's just that if you're used to Etherscan, then you'll be using Etherscan more because it's it's a user friendly once you get used to it you, and you understand your way around it then uh, things should be smooth so that's it from today's video i'd like to thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video take care bye bye